watching The Nine. Oh, how do you decide what to do? What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, it's such a daunting question, especially for high school kids, because who really knows, right? What should kids do after high school? Well, for those headed into their senior year, Kelly McLeod from Stevenson High School is here with some things to consider and probably even long before they get to be seniors in high school, Correct. right, Kelly? Correct. So thank you for being here, first of all. And Kelly wears many hats. Um, but one of them is uh, college prep when it comes to kids, uh, high school kids. How do you, and maybe we shouldn't even see, say college prep, maybe we should say life prep. How do you help kids make that decision? Should I go to college? Should I learn a trade? What should my future be? Because these are just teenagers. Right, a lot of that happens in that junior year where they really need to get talking about what they want to do, where they, they where they see themselves after high school, yeah. whether it's in the trades or in college. And the main thing is, I always tell students, don't shut doors. It's really easy to shut a door because you think, I'm not smart enough for that college, or I don't have enough money for this, or not enough money for that. And I always tell students, don't don't, don't shut doors based on your GPA or based on that SAT. Keep every door open so that you can really see there are so many opportunities out there, but students don't even know. They're not even aware of everything that they could get. Well, and that's just it. How do we make them? Because we as parents aren't really aware of everything. Outside of our little professional bubbles, sometimes we're not even aware of the opportunities that kids have. Absolutely. Well, I partner with Detroit Regional Dollars for Scholars, and that's a program that connects with about 16 schools, and it's a nonprofit organization. So the more donors we have, the more schools we can get into. But that's something where students can apply to that their sophomore year. And if they get accepted, then they're going to get SAT prep, which is huge to help them get those SAT scores because that's money. Right. The higher your SAT score, the more money you can get. And then also, we do college field trips, just open the doors to all the different colleges that are around. We do etiquette training with Jacqueline Baker. She comes and does that. And then we also do a lot of networking. And Dollars for Scholars then gives them a $4,000 scholarship at the end of that, that they can apply to a trade school or to a university really anything that they're doing on that second part of their journey. Mm -hmm. It's so interesting because I have now my third child is in college, but we often analyze this whole, you know, how much is this costing you? How much debt are you going to get into? What kind of job are you going to get after your four years in college? So there's a lot to consider. Um, and I suppose a, a, a course is at least a good starting point if there's any resources at school. Are there other, for parents talking to their high school kids today, are the, the counselors well equipped, well versed in some of this and understanding the debt that you're going to incur and the other opportunities you have that you don't have to spend a ton of money? I feel that that's one of the biggest hiccups is that parents just don't know and no. students don't know. But I will tell you this, I tell students all the time, when they go, when you start to go to college, your financial advisor and your academic advisor should be your best friend. They should know you. That should be the first office that you walk into, a financial aid office to say, I need help. What kind of scholarships can I get in high school? a lot of the counseling departments will have local scholarships. Yes. A lot of times you only hear about the national scholarships, and those are great, but it's really hard to get those. There are a lot of local scholarships, and students just aren't aware of it. So it's just getting on that counseling, getting into the counseling office, getting right. on. We have Schoology at Stevenson High School, and so there's a counseling Schoology page. They can go, and our counselors put all the scholarships on there just so that they can really see yeah, there's money out there, in right, other words. Right, you absolutely. You put in a little effort. Absolutely. And it's find not just, it. yes, it's not just on academics. You can get money outside of academics as well, just from private institutions. So there yeah. really is a lot out there for students. They just sometimes don't know it. All right, lots to think about. Uh, you are a teacher, uh, public speaking? Correct, correct. Very good. Yes. So you go back on Monday. Are you ready? Uh, has it been a good summer? It has been a good summer. I love going back. I love getting the new group. It's yeah. exciting to see. And I teach that age, the juniors and seniors mostly. So it's nice to see them get excited about what their next step yeah, is going to be. Yeah, the future. School I... before or after Labor Day? Oh, yeah, yeah. Before. Yes. I like it before. 
before. I like it before. I like getting out earlier in June. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it seems to make sense to us there. We heard it from a teacher. That's right. I'll take it. I'll but, take it. But she wants to start earlier and then get out a little earlier, too. Yes, I want we're both. Not trying to we make, want both. We're not trying to make it longer. More <laughs> no, longer. No, no. Uh, thanks, Kelly, so much. Thank Good you. Good stuff. Right.